Now you cheeky little bollock mongers know that I like to chat about industry bullshit. I also like to just chat bullshit about the industry, which doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing, although what we're talking about today could be considered a bad thing by some, I personally don't have too much of a problem with it and that's what we're going to talk about today. You see Nintendo just did a Nintendo Direct, so they did it today. They did a weird little mini direct after much speculation, conspiracy theorizing, uh, intense, scary amounts of anticipation for what they were going to show. And then they just bombarded us with this short little Nintendo Direct that you could have blinked and missed. But it did have quite a few announcements. Quite a few ports as well. You see, the Nintendo Switch is chock full of ports. And that's not a bad thing. I don't think so anyway. First off, let's have a look at what Nintendo Direct had for us today. I won't be showing much gameplay footage of many of these announcements because Nintendo is a complete and utter bollocks when it comes to abusing content ID, so F them for that. So among the news that came out today was the fact that a demo for Dragon Quest Builders is now available. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze is making its way to the Switch on May 4th, which will follow in the tradition of Pokemon Tournament DX and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, giving us an updated version of a Wii U game, which is fine by me because not many people played Wii U games. The port jobs don't stop there because Payday 2 is coming on February 27th. That now has a firm release date, so if you want to rob a bank, you'll be able to do that on the Switch now. Hooray for that, I guess. That's been years since I played Payday 2. I liked it at the time, and from what I remember, they took those shitty fucking boxes out, so it's no longer upsetting everyone. As if that wasn't enough, East 8... Lacrimosa of Dana, or Dana, or, is making its way from PS4, Vita and PC to the Switch in the summer of this year. And something that's going to delight a lot of cult fans, a re-release of The World Ends With You is coming to Switch. I'll be perfectly honest with you, as much as I wanted to love that game, it did not grab me by the balls when I played it. However, I'm thrilled for the game's many fans that it's coming along to the Switch. Now at this point, everybody can shut the fuck up and lick my twisted gherkin, because Hyrule Warriors Ultimate Edition is coming to the Switch in spring. That's going to include all of the content from the 3DS and the Wii U versions, all the maps, all the missions, all the DLC, all of that bollocks, alongside some Breath of the Wild costumes as an extra, and same screen co-op. Now Hyrule Warriors, of course, is, in my opinion, the best Zelda game in fucking years, so I am personally incredibly excited about that. Speaking of things I'm incredibly excited about, the pièce de résistance when it comes to the port jobs is Dark Souls Remastered. Dark Souls Remastered! Also going to be coming out on PS4, Xbox One and PC, but playing that on the Switch, on the go, on a train, on the toilet? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm fine with that. And in addition to that, Mario Plus Rabbids DLC, a Super Mario Odyssey update, some new Mario Tennis game, and a whole bunch of other stuff that I don't particularly care to talk about today because I'm not running a new service for fuck's sake. No, I'm here to talk about the ports today because there are certainly some people who consider the amount of ports on the Switch to be bullshit. Some people calling it a system of ports. It's the port system, nothing but ports. Excuse me, Major. Could you pour me a glass of red? Why, I think I'll take the port! A lot of cynicism surrounding the Nintendo Direct announcements and a lot of the other releases that the Nintendo Switch has enjoyed in recent months. We recently had a whole bunch of Resident Evil games come over, the Resident Evil Revelations games were ported over, and we're seeing some alarmingly shit port jobs on the way. Firefighters the fucking simulation, a game I can't bloody get shot of has been approved for a switch release why craig why would they do that shut up you don't know see yeah there's no mistake 
that the Switch has had a lot of ports. But that was also true of the Xbox One and the PS4 at the beginning of this generation. You tend to see it with new consoles that publishers are a little bit worried about, so they test the water with some remasters and ports, rather than go all in on a brand new game. And we saw a fair bit of that in the Switch's first year. Now obviously the Switch I feel has more than proved itself over the past year, but we're still seeing a fair few ports. Now, now I totally understand why someone would look at that and see it as a problem, why someone would look at that and uh, be underwhelmed that the exciting Switch with all of its potential is being used to resell a whole bunch of games, some of which, let's be honest Skyrim, have been resold before and are being re-resold or re-re-resold Skyrim. But I can't really have a problem with that, predominantly because, for the most part, the games being selected for ports, not Firefighters the Simulation obviously, are really fucking good ideas for a system like the Switch. I know it's an old excuse, but it still fucking works. That's why it's used so much. Playing certain games in a portable environment does make them more exciting. And you're absolutely damn fucking right that out of the options we have for a Dark Souls remaster, I'm gonna go with the Switch version because I can play that while other people are watching reruns of Flavor of Fucking Love or whatever and just wander around the house going, <laughs> Switch and it's a bit different because it's small. So that'll be good. And I've wanted Hyrule Warriors on the Switch for ages. I'll buy that another time. I don't give a fuck. The same could be said of a lot of the games that were ported over in the past year. Stardew Valley, I thought, was an inspired choice. The relaxing, repetitive nature of the gameplay, the whole laid-back atmosphere to it, perfect for on-the-go gaming. And yes, this current Nintendo Direct has announced what you could call a miniature avalanche of ports, but they're all good ideas. Dark Souls Portable, that's just fucking great. People are gonna love that. A definitive version of Hyrule Warriors on the Switch where, let's face it, it fucking belonged in the first place. Thumbs up for that. Ye say we don't know when it's coming to Switch, but RPG Portable always made sense to me. Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze can't go wrong with a platformer in a handheld. And you'll notice that I am referring to the Switch as a handheld producer dominantly, which also may affect whether or not you consider these ports to be egregious or acceptable. I mostly use the Switch as a handheld device, so I generally consider it as a handheld first and foremost. As such, like I explained, these ports are inherently a bit more exciting to a player like myself. So, for the predominantly handheld Switch player, these ports are damn bloody interesting and again in my opinion damn near perfect choices for porting on top of that you've got to consider that the switch had one of the best launch years that i've ever seen in my ruddy bloody career now while some of them were themselves remasters or ports the nintendo switch managed to go almost the entire year with every month containing a first party nintendo switch game or a third party game using nintendo ip we're talking splatoon 2 we're talking mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle, we're talking Breath of the Wild, we're talking Super Mario Odyssey, we're talking Poking Tournament Degeneration X. If the Switch's library of original games was threadbare, then I could see being a lot more disappointed with the ports that got announced. But we have what I see as a range of perfect, pitch perfect port ideas on top of a foundation of solid original games. And to me, you can't go fucking wrong with that. Unless all the ports suck, of course. Then it would go horribly wrong. But I don't think that will happen. Fucking Dark Souls!